here at the front, please. Since, uh, since Joe Cancelo left, you, you're probably going to be playing quite a lot of games at left back. How do you how do you feel about that? Um, yeah, of course. Uh, as a as a player, you want to play as as much as possible and contribute to the team as much as possible. Um, but yeah, I've been playing more as a left back, as a centre back, um, all over. Um, but yeah, I'm just happy that I'm getting opportunities for sure. So. Yeah, in terms of playing left back, centre back, sometimes in a game, a mixture of the two, like how how was that to get used to? Like, what was the the process of of learning how to do that, and how's that been for for you? No, it's been okay because um, yeah, it's it's quite clear. You know, the manager always explains clear clear what he wants, um, the tactics, what he wants, what he expects from you. Um, he doesn't expect me to to make 100 forward runs and uh, you know score goals every game, um, but uh, no, he knows what he can get from me, and uh, yeah, I will I will give everything every game, and um, yeah, I think it's also about playing the position and you know learning each uh, each game you play, you learn a little bit more about it. Um, but I've played it in the past, so it's not too too un yeah unknown. Ball here, please. Hey Nathan, yeah. the manager's been very complimentary about your performances this season and you're starting a lot more games. Why do you think your performance has, has come on this season? Um, yeah, I don't know. I think uh, obviously the first season when I arrived, it was a bit difficult, you know, um, settling in with injuries and stuff like that. I never really got in the rhythm. I think last season I was already improving, getting better, getting more game time, understanding more um, oh yeah, what I need to do to get in the team. And I think this season just automatically, um, yeah, it started to come with, with games, started the season well, uh, and then little setback with a, with a small injury. But then after that, yeah, kicked on. And yeah, just feel feel good now, feel comfortable. And yeah, just eager to, to learn even more and yeah, be be consistent to the, to the end of the season. Rob that. Hi Nathan. Um, when we get to this stage of the competition, there's always questions about sitting. Is this going to be the year that you win the Champions League because you're one of the favourites? Does, does that pressure ever make its way into the squad? Do you ever think about that kind of thing? No, I think yeah. To be fair, every every competition we play, there's there's pressure. Every game we we have to win basically. Um, so you know that when you're at a club like like Man City, you want to win every trophy possible. Um, but yeah, so that's no difference for the Champions League. We go into this game with the same mentality that we want to win this game, um, and we want to progress. And um, yeah, that's our aim um, for for the Premier League, for for other cups, and no no different from the Champions League. But yes, yeah, obviously that that we want to win it. Just that. I know. Um, in the league at home, it's been something of a stop-start season. It's been sort of one step forward and another one back. Uh, is, is is there a feeling that this is very different in the Champions League? That uh, you can sort of leave the the, the, the sort of domestic campaign uh, alone and, and sort of start afresh here. Um, yeah, maybe. I think. Um as you said, it's been a little bit frustrating sometimes. You, you take a, a good step forward and you maybe take a little step back in terms of results. I think that the, um, the play was, was all right, especially the last game, um, but we just didn't get the result. Um, and the thing we have to do is take that confidence from the way we played, I think, the last couple of games into this one. And that's all we can do. And um, I don't think there will be too much of a, of a thinking about, uh, oh, this is the, the Champions League now, we have to play different or something. So... Yeah, we just have to go with the same yeah, confidence and mentality we've done the last couple of games and keep that going. Just to have it in the front place. Nathan, is this the trophy that the, the players really want now? I mean, you've won everything domestically, you know, so many times. Is this, is this the trophy that you really, really want as a squad? Yeah, I think that's been that's been clear over the last few years. Um, we've been close, but we we never got to it. Um, so yeah, I think it's it's obvious that that everyone wants to win this trophy. It's the Champions League. It's, it's the biggest uh, competition in uh, in club football. And um, yeah, I think obviously every player wants to win it. So for sure, we we're gonna do our best. Just towards the back there, please. Um, hello, Nathan. Um, a question about uh, tomorrow's opponent. Um, what do you know about RB Leipzig and their style of football? And who do you think yeah, will impose the biggest threat for your defence? 
Um, yeah, we know them quite well from from last season as well. Um, they were very tough games. Uh, a lot of energy uh, on the counter attack. They're very fast. They are very strong, um, and they've got very yeah quick good players up front. I think um, with Tenkunku, with with Werner, um, the yeah top players, and yeah they will make us as difficult as we know last season when we came here. We lost. Uh, two one, obviously in a little bit different circumstances, but still, it was a tough match. Um, so we know we have to to be hundred percent tomorrow.